finished the run and I could just feel like something just was, was wrong. You about yeah. to say something about not better. So, yeah. So, uh, in the, in, you know, in Leadville, Colorado, we were at Leadville, uh, in August for that hundred mile, uh, hundred mile ultra rail, uh, trace. Uh, my wife, I came in at like mile 62 and the crew was there at every checkpoint and they asked like, what do you want? What do you need? Mm -hmm. And I came in and we had these little packs of nut butter in, uh, with the crew kits, but I also had this chafe cream called squirrels, oh, no. nut, squirrels, nut butter. <laughs> so I came in to the checkpoint. <laughs> Chafe cream. So you have to put that on the inside of your thighs? Exactly. All right. All right. So two different kinds of nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> so I came in I came in at mile 62 and they said, what do you need? I said, nut butter. And in my head, I'm thinking squirrel's nut butter for chafing. So my wife hands me this packet of almond butter. <laughs> and it's in the video. It's in the, in the Leadville doc that we produced. And I said, no, 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 like other nut butter. Uh -huh. So I just take this big scoop of squirrel's nut butter and I just throw it down my pants. Wait, you really, you, you did use that and throw it down your pants? Wait, the squirrel's nut butter. Squirrel's nut butter is made for chafing. So that one's for chafing. It's for okay, chafing. Okay, okay. The other is made for consumption. All right, so you, okay, good. I, I, for so a you, second, I thought you, you actually You got the, the right one in the right spot. There I got the go. right one in the right spot. <laughs> this brings us, I think this is a great quick uh, story time for, for, for you to talk to us about your short incident. Yeah. Oh. The incident with your shorts, because- um, yeah, you, what are the what's the brand? Silkies? Silkies. Silkies. So Silkies gave you an issue once, right? Yeah. So hmm? I've always been running short shorts. Are just like there's nothing better than going out for a run wearing nothing but short shorts. Yeah. No shirt. You got like a hat on, and you just, you you feel light and free. You get whistled at at all? Oh yeah. Mm, I figured. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good looking guy. Yeah, those legs are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're shaved. They're, they're clean and shaved. Aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I used to always wear silkies, especially coming out of the army. Like you wear silkies in the army for like mm -hmm. morning PT. And uh, I would sleep in silkies and I would run in silkies. Power Project Family, how's it going? I want to tell you guys about the legendary Tasty Pastry. And we've talked about Ben and Jerry's and snacks and stuff on the podcast. But those can go against your goals. They can be too calorically dense, and they can really make you crave more bad foods. But the crazy, the crazy thing about the legendary Tasty Pastry is that it's 20 grams of protein and 5 grams of net carbs and 180 calories. And they taste amazing. You guys need to check them out. They have tons of flavors. Andrew, how can they get it? Yeah. And the other thing, they pass the kid test. Kids love these things as mm. well. Head over to eatlegendary.com and at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT to save 20% off all the tasty pastries, all the nut butters, all the almonds, everything. Again, eatlegendary.com. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Let's get back to the podcast. And this one, I was running like three, four, five miles a day. And then this one day I went down to, it's called Lady Bird Lake in Austin, Texas. It goes around uh, the Colorado River downtown. It's beautiful. It's a 10 mile loop. Yeah. So it was a summer day. It might've been like July. And I went for this 10 mile loop. And towards the end of that 10 mile loop, I felt like this uncomfortable sensation in my pants. Mm -hmm. And uh, I finished the run and I could just feel like something just was, was wrong. So I, I pulled like the, the waistband of my pants out to look down and you could tell someone was like dry there and like pulled apart. And there was a pool of blood. Oh, there's a pool of blood in my pants. And, uh, the silkies did me wrong. Mm. <laughs> Something was wrong with, the, they weren't silky. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to wear a band aid to, Where? Where did you wear the Band-Aid, Nick? On the tip of, for, of you know what? Of your penis. I did. For, God damn it. For weeks. And ah. that, that was the last day I wore sulkies on a run. Were you just running too fast? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I honestly, I, I had no clue what happened. I don't, what happened. The thing is, I don't, I've never talked to anyone else that has ever experienced this. It might have just been like a fluke. Were accident. you running with a boner? Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. I think I'm like, yeah. Where did you have this? He's running with some full wood out there. I wonder why he's getting honked at. That makes more sense. <laughs> Not that I recall. He's got like blood dripping down his leg. Oh. God. God, that's a real run as high though. Just to be running like, hmm, this is kind of uncomfortable. Did but it, your dick's bleeding. Did it stick to the silkies? Yes. Like, yeah. Oh. And yeah. so when you pulled it down, is that what caused like the 
Oh, God. No, the there, ter- there, oh, I can't put it nicely. There's already blood. Okay. Like, there's a lot okay. of blood in I mean, that's the thing with running. There is, uh, there's lots of blood. There's <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, we did see your feet. Your feet are gnarly right now, brother. This is probably like one of the... I actually felt bad because this is one, <laughs> this is one of the worst times my 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 feet have ever looked this way. And of course, within an hour of being here, my socks off and it's being filmed. But last night before before Graham one, is very forward, he won't even like buy you dinner or anything. No. He just gets his hands right in, in there. there. He was he was squeezing the pus out of my toe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was surprised. Like, oh. is he really going to do that? Like, is he going to continue? And he just kept squeezing it. It was very uncomfortable. He was, he was probably into it. That's the thing. Graham is very interesting. Yeah. Well, last yeah. last night before going to bed, this this toenail's been hanging on forever, and so I just like held it down and I tried to rip it off and it wouldn't come off. So then I went and cut it off with scissors. So part of the toenail was still in there. Part was off. And uh, I mean, I'll even, I'll even admit like that. It's disgusting. <laughs> My toes have been gross, but that's like the worst it's ever been. Yeah. I feel like such a pussy. Cause I feel like if that happened to me, I wouldn't be running. <laughs> You'd be mm. like, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. We'll but get this cool. We have this really He's cool, got 11 miles to run later today. We have this really cool scene in the dock for Leadville where the guys had it on camera. I come in to a checkpoint and I take my shoe off and toenail was hanging off and I just counted to three, one, two, three oh, no. and I just held it and I ripped it off mm. and I threw the toenail on the ground, put my shoe back on and I kept going. There's some Goggins type shit right here. What's yo. this uh, documentary you're talking about? It's called Leadville 100, More Than the Miles. So it's the uh, 100 mile race we did in Leadville, Colorado this August. And it was, I mean, it was epic. It's uh, 100 miles in the Rocky Mountains. It starts at about 10,000 feet of elevation. Wow. Gets to, I want to say, like close to 14,000 feet of elevation. We had the BPN team out there, and it was, it was wild. The scenery was just insane. Yeah. I'd be down with eating those burgers. <laughs> I don't know about the running part. So I but, felt, yeah. my, I, is this the, the toe? Oh, no. That was the one request I had for my brother. I said, when I come in to mile 62, because it's after climbing what's called Hope Pass, which is a big uphill climb and a downhill mm-hmm. climb. I said, oh, I just have a burger ready. So they said he was struggling to get the burgers made while I was gone and get the charcoal lit. So when I came in to grab my burger, it tasted like pure charcoal. So I was afraid. I was like, holy shit, I'm, I'm poisoned. My brother poisoned this burger with, with charcoal. But uh, that was an epic experience. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there, too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.